to number six. Let's look at number seven. It says, according to Coulomb's law, which pair of charged molecules has the lowest potential energy? So we care, So we have Coulomb's law. Uh, it says, which particle has, I want lowest PE or lowest potential energy here. I'm going to write the uh, options here. So it says, particle with one minus charge charge separated by by 150 pm from particle with 2 plus b is 1 minus separated by so basically the same thing uh, but particle with one plus charge c here is saying particle uh, uh particle separated by one minus charge by a hundred pm from it's basically from uh from a three plus charge here okay so we have three options here and again, this guy, this guy again, it's like, um, I think I feel like it's a scene, maybe it's the formatting issue, but it's definitely just like a huge chunk of a um, huge chunk here. But it's asking us, what is the highest, or we want the highest potential energy, right? Lowest, sorry, lowest potential energy here. So lowest potential energy, if we look back to um, Coulomb's law here, um, it says here, uh, I, I like the explanation here. It says, the explanation is Coulomb's law describes the attraction and repulsion of uh, charged particles, right? So Coulomb's law, potential energy between two particles is directly proportional to the charge of the particles and inversely proportional to the chart distance between two particles. So I can say, and I, I can basically write here, that potential energy is proportional to the charge, right? So to the, to the charge of particles, and then it's also inversely proportional to our distance, right? To our distance here. So basically, it's saying that as per, as per, uh, the potential energy increases, the charge also increases, right? So as it increases, as PE increases, uh, charge also increases. And for here, is as as charge here increases, the distance is going to decrease, right? It's inversely proportional here. So it's asking us what is the we're looking for the option with the lowest potential energy, right? So let's modify this. And let's uh, let's let's modify all of these guys to the lowest, right? So if we decrease the potential energy, my charge will also decrease. So it will also decrease here. If I decrease the potential energy here, I'm going to have to increase my distance, right? So if I'm, I'm for the lowest the lowest uh, potential energy here, I'm looking for uh, charges charges with uh, with uh, PE here has low has a lower charge here, and I'm looking for PE. Uh, PE uh, with the greatest distance, right? So let's look at this. Uh, this is the solution here. It says the value. Sorry, the uh, particle with a one minus separated by a two plus charge substitute the values in equation one and calculate the potential energy. So again, there's no calculations here. Um, so let me uh, let me just figure out what. Uh, let me just write out Coulomb's law for you. Um, give me a second here. It's going to find out the equation for usually you're, again, you're given equations sheet. You're not really expected to memorize this. So I actually haven't memorized the, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, equation for this, but let me just search up the equation for you. So at least I have something to write down for you. Yeah. So if I, uh, so here it's saying here, uh, let me write this in blue here. So E, which is basically the uh, potential energy. Let's see if the pen works. There we go. Uh, e here is proportional to basically Q1 Q times Q2, which is the charges of the two uh, two particles, times epsilon, or divided by epsilon times R here. Epsilon here is basically the dielectric uh, constant 
which is equal to one actually. So it doesn't really matter actually. So basically it's just asking us E is proportional to basically, um, I can say that E equals K, some constant K times Q1 over Q2 divided by R, right? And R here is simply the distance before them. So what we can do is that we can actually just substitute all of these guys here uh, into this equation to solve for it, right? So in this case, uh, all, uh, E here equals one. So I can basically say, and if, uh, if, uh, if I want to, uh, kind of write an equation, this would be kind of k over q2 over r, because e epsilon here equals 1. In this case, k, I can divide k out as well, right? So I can just say simply e here equals q1 times q2 over r, right? So we can use this equation to kind of um, figure out uh, the, char uh, the potential energies for a, b, and c, right? So a here in this case is 1 minus times 2 plus. So I can say here 1 minus, so I have a one minus charge times a two plus charge divided by R here is, I believe, 150. So I'm not gonna convert them to units because I don't know what, I believe it's meters, but it's probably, it's probably is meters actually um, because it's in joules. So uh, in this case, I won't, I won't divide up the units uh, for the sake of time here, but we have here one times negative two, uh, negative one times a two here is negative two over 150. And this will equal some value here and again i really don't care about uh, the units here in this case i'm just looking at um potential energies right so uh i'm looking at the uh, absolute value of these guys here so the next one here that's for a so i have negative one over one seven one seventy five one over seventy five b here says particle with one plus and one minus so i'm gonna have i'm gonna get basically if i substitute a one plus here i'm going to get negative one over 150 negative one over 150 for B. So this here is A, this here is B. And C here would have been, uh, this is a one minus charge, or sorry, one, yeah, one minus charge with a three plus charge, right? So I have one times, uh, negative one times three here, which is three uh, divided by, three divided by 100, what, three divided by 100, right? So I'm gonna have three over 100 here. So C here would give me three over a hundred. So looking at these guys here, one over 75, one over 150 and uh, three over a hundred, you can say that um, one over 150 here is, uh, this here is 6.67 times 10 to the negative three. One over 75 here is 0 0.01. So again, this here is the biggest potential energy. So I'm gonna remove that. And finally, um, three over 100 is simply just 0 point, uh, 0 point, 0 point 0 0.03, right? So if, what, if, if, I, if I care about the lowest potential energy in this case here, the lowest potential energy would be B, right? B here would have 6.67 times 10 to the negative three is indeed our lowest amount of energy, right? And this actually makes sense, right? If I look at, if I look at B here, particle with one plus charge with another, with a one minus charge. So again, I have lowest charges here and the distance is increased, right? It's 150 here, right? So B here would give me the uh, lowest potential energy here. So I'm gonna say here, solution is incomplete. Solution is incomplete. And I'm gonna say here, um, potential energy, uh, sorry, according to Coulomb's law, uh, potential energy, energy equals basically Q1 times Q2, Q2 over R here. Q1 refers to first charge, Q2 refers to second charge, and R refers to distance between the particles. Um, potential energy is proportional to charge, like they said before. Um, therefore, B, uh, option B is the correct answer with the lowest amount of potential energy. And you could say here, because charge numbers are one minus and one plus, and uh, the distance is the greatest between the two particles. So the solution here is incorrect because I just said, again, the solution here is incomplete.